In the following chemical energetics question, the question reads that the conversion of graphite has only a small positive value of uh, enthalpy change. So when you're converting carbon, which is in graphite form, to carbon, which would be in diamond form, the enthalpy change is very, very small. However, the production of synthetic diamonds using this reaction is very difficult. So he's saying that this reaction normally doesn't occur, and he's asking which statement helps to explain this. Now, when you're converting graphite to diamond, so I've drawn the structures. This is the structure of graphite, and this is the structure of diamond. Uh, both are different forms of carbon. Uh, so when you are when you're converting graphite into diamond, the first thing is you would have to break a lot of bonds and uh, that would require a lot of energy. So there are lots of carbon-carbon bonds and all of them have to be broken and then they have to be rearranged in this tetrahedral manner where each carbon atom is making four bonds. So this first step which requires the breaking of a lot of bond requires a lot of energy. So uh, the reason why this reaction doesn't occur or doesn't occur spontaneously is or is very difficult is because you need to break a lot of bonds and that's called activation energy. To activate this reaction, um, the activation energy is going to be very, very large. You have to get rid of a lot of bonds and then you have to rearrange and form diamonds. So, so the first statement is correct. The reason why this reaction doesn't occur is that the activation energy of the reaction is very, very large. You have to get rid of a lot of bonds first. The second statement states that an equilibrium exists between diamond and graphite. This statement is incorrect. Uh, the conversion from graphite to diamond or from diamond back to graphite is not very easy. So, so generally there won't be any equilibrium reactions taking place. And the next, uh, the third statement is that only exothermic reactions can be made to occur readily, which is also incorrect because um, the the speed of the reaction or the spontaneity of a reaction doesn't depend on the enthalpy change, whether it's exothermic or whether it's endothermic. What it depends on is the activation energy. The activation energy has to be very low for the reaction to uh, to be fast. So it doesn't depend, it only depends on the fact how many bonds you need to break and how much energy is needed to break those bonds. If the first step of a reaction which requires breaking of bond uh, needs very less energy, then that reaction would probably occur at a very fast pace. So, so this statement over here, this third statement is incorrect. So only option one is correct. And according to the marking key, if only option one is correct, then that would be option, it would be option D.